Welcome. Now in today's module, we're going to talk about what is IT governance. The primary goals of IT governance are to assure that the investments or the spending, the resources which have been set aside in IT generate business value for the organization. They have a re return on investment and to mitigate or reduce the risks that are associated with information technology. And there are quite a few risks associated with information technology. Simply put, if we were to simplify this, it's putting structure and organizing how the organization will align IT strategy with the business strategy. Because what usually happens is that IT sometimes becomes a silo and becomes disconnected from the organizational objective. And the reason for that is that information technology being technical resources, having technical education, are not really familiar or trained, or or, and they don't even belong to business backgrounds. So the business um, set up in an organization which drives the, uh, the primary business, it could be an insurance business, it could be a bank, it could be a telecoms, the IT people are somewhat disconnected and they are so immersed in the technology infrastructure and developing the software and keeping the systems up and keeping the data center up and running. They're so immersed on it that they sometimes become divorced and separated from the business alignment. Um, so, so IT governance, what it aims to do is align the business with IT or make sure that IT is aligned to the bigger organization objective due to which the organization exists. So, and this is, this is uh, in, ensuring that companies stay on track to achieve their strategies and goals and implementing good ways to measure IT performance because it becomes a, a challenge. How do you measure IT performance? Is IT performance measured because the server is running? Is IT uh, performance measured because the network is up? Is IT performance measured because there was no downtime? Um, is IT performance measured because applications were uh, created on time and were put into production on time? And how are the projects being, ma uh, being managed? Um, so, you know, there, there are so many KPIs and metrics which actually, when you drill down and you try to organize and understand that the, in, in, with all its complexity, information technology, how is it really performing? How are we going to measure how IT is performing? Is it organized? Is it aligned with the business or not? So it makes sure, or IT governance makes sure, that all the stakeholders' interests are taken into account and that processes provide measurable results, which is very important. Now, an IT governance framework should answer key questions, such as how the IT department is functioning overall, what key metrics uh, management needs and what return IT is giving back to the business from investments and how is, it, how is it supporting the business. So frameworks, uh, there are several frameworks which cover IT governance, uh, some of them more comprehensively than others, and some of them are very focused in an area, but they obviously touch upon IT governance. Um, ISO 27001-2013, uh, the ISMS, Information Security Management System, the gold standard in information security governance, actually. Uh, this covers a fair amount of governance, obviously, because it's managing an information security uh, system. So it's uh, a heavy component of it consists of governance. Now, ITIL, IT Infrastructure Library, which is related to IT service management, how IT services are delivered, organizing those services, measuring those services, improving those services, uh, and the life cycle of those services. So ITIL covers, obviously, a fair amount of uh, governance. And then COBIT uh, by ISACA, the, the world-famous COBIT, uh, which is considered the top and the more focused um, IT governance framework, which uh, it stands for Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology. So these are three frameworks, ISMS, um, ITIL, and COBIT which cover IT governance. Now, in this graphic that you see, uh, COBIT, which is um, an ISACA framework for IT governance, it consists of five main elements. Value delivery, or you know, deriving, making sure that IT is delivering the value for the organization and the return on investment is there. 
and is it optimized or not? Um, then you have risk management, and that is looking at all the IT functions from a risk perspective, evaluating you know what could go wrong and what are the risks to the organization, uh, what are the controls in place, and how do you mitigate the risks with a, a risk treatment? And and formerly before that you do a risk assessment. So there's a risk management um, activity, and then there's resource management. Are the right resources in place? Are the right quantities of uh, the right numbers of resources in place? Are they trained? Are they competent? How do we measure the performance of resources? And then performance management. So you know what are the performance metrics? How are we going to measure this? When are we going to measure this? Uh, who is going to measure this? And how are we going to evaluate how the performance is, is going on? And then strategic alignment, which is very important. And this consists of ensuring that uh, the strategic objectives of the organization, which are the business objectives, are really being met by IT. And IT is subservient to the overall IT objectives rather than IT being divorced altogether from the business and the business objectives and the business focus of the organization. So what is COBIT? Uh, the primary IT governance framework uh, globally, simply stated COBIT-5 helps enterprises to create optimal value from IT by maintaining a balance between realizing benefits and taking advantage of, uh, of the business from an IT perspective and optimizing risk levels. You know, so not entirely eliminating risk, but managing risk and optimizing risk and optimizing resource usage as well. So that's all that we have for this module. Thank you.